Um, here's the update on attempting to do a low buy for two months. And the low buy was supposed to run until November 10th. It is currently November 26th, um, which also means the <laughs> it's currently the weekend of Black Friday leading into Cyber Monday. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at how successful I was with my actual prescribed low buy and to see if I actually achieved the goals that I set out for myself. Um, so briefly, the entire goal was to spend no more than 200 USD during this two month interval, including some ongoing packages that I already had and um, the shipping costs for those. There were some exceptions in there, um, and that included whether or not I traveled, and if I did travel, I was allowed to buy special local niche or artisan products. Um, I did indeed do this, but that dollar value does not account into the total dollar value. So last time I checked in with myself, um, I believe I had 98.50 USD left to spend, including um, just during that time period. I'm reasonably confident it was around mid to late October when I last did that. So the purchases that I've made since then, I did pay my friend for shipping off that package. Um, and that ended up being about 10 USD, but it actually wasn't very much because I already had some um, money in PayPal, which I did adjust the rules to be able to use um, instead of just paying that raw value up front. I also, on October 25th, looks like I made some purchases. I forgot to write down the numerical value, but I'm gonna hazard a guess it was around 40 USD. The total count was that I had purchased 7.5 mils worth of leftovers um, and four decants from a Javi, um, each about four USD each, which is 16 USD. Um, and one Poesy 2 mil cent, which is a repurchase, and that was eight fifty. So that would be about $24 each, plus the, the 7.5 mils on um, the leftovers, which it's probably a little more than that. So that was it for October. Um, Let's, let's, let's hazard a guess and update that too. So I actually did okay in October. Um, you know, if we had to pay the entire cost for, for the package I had to get delivered, this value would be much, much higher. Um, there was actually about 60 USD sitting around in there as is, and thus I would have gone over. And the other thing to note is that I did not actually get my Ajavi bundle shipped. It's still sitting around waiting for a couple decans to finish off. So that is going to be a non-zero amount of money to get shipped. Probably around like another 20, 30 USD just for the increase in shipping costs due to weight. Because um, that's just how it is. Now, I wanted to talk about whether or not I actually achieved my goal. Which is to reframe my indie perfume and hobby purchasing habits. Um, so I think... While it's given me a little bit of perspective, it's worth noting that the um, amount con restriction wasn't actually very much um, in comparison to, like, say, usual spending habits. It, it was just trying to be more mindful while spending. Um, and so, to flip the narrative, let's say I've gone a bit overboard during the month of November. So during the month of November, um, I made two Ajevi purchases, and that totaled to about 60 USD. Um, this involves the things, actually many of these things that I listed here, but for the, the Christmas version. So from BPAL, they had their Yules, and so I ordered four samples from uh, Nui Cobalt. I ordered three. I did get these in the 0 0.5 size because I'm finding that the brand is not working as well as it used to for me. In terms of how lucky I am. Um, I also got four possets to try out. This is something I like to do every single time. Um, though I think long term I'm going to drop this, like cap this value maybe at two to three. Um, eventually I'll get through every single cent I'm interested in. Um, but for now I'm okay. Plus one like upsized chunk. Um, and that, that was a repurchase because I actually used up my entire sample. Really, really liked it. Um, and would like more of it. And I 
had originally been planning on buying the full size bottle, but it occurred to me that I have a lot of full sizes and I don't think I like it that much. So I'm going to use up, say, five mils in the next three to four years. So chunk size it is, if I do actually get through it within two years, maybe that's an indication of needing to buy a full size. Um, oh, I also got a hair product um, in a sink size because I'm curious about the scent. Um, I would prefer not to buy their uh, B-Pals limited edition hair glosses because they're like $8 more expensive. Um, but I also don't want to blind buy one of their cheaper options and find out I don't like it at all. Um, this is a product I use an astonishing amount of. I could probably stand to use a little bit less or find an unscented product that's cheaper to mix in with. Um, but I really, really like what it does for my hair. So I'm um, not too annoyed at myself for that. Um, continuing to go down the line, I bought one half slink from um, Black Hearted Tart. There was one scent I wanted, it was in a combination I liked, and it was like 3 USD ish, 350. Um, so this is this is my like true impulse buy here is like normally I don't love their products, but this one had a lot of promise and if it works really well, overall the brand is extraordinarily cheap. Um, and you can get multiple products in that scent. Now, I, I don't think it's actually going to work out, but um, I'm on a hunt for a, a, like a solid matcha scent um, from brands that I find really consistent. And I also have two Nocturne Alchemy slunks. Um, this is in response to their um, holiday release. Same thing as B-Values, and these two will come up later, because um, this is not all I got from them. And then out of guilt, I got one lucky number nine scent. Um, I'm not sure why I did this, but I did. And now this this is like my, I, I'm annoyed I did this, because that's, I, I didn't need it. Um, we'll see. I, I have a, like a, generally not the most positive experience with scents from Mr. Hex and Hexanaut, but um, like I like their concepts. The execution doesn't quite do it for me. Alright, so that's all I got from Ajevi. Um, 60 USD, a bit much, um, especially when you realize how much this converts into Canadian. Um, it's not, not the greatest. Now, I did say I would expand upon the B-Pals and the Nocturne Alchemy. Um, so I did participate in a very small Nocturne Alchemy decant circle with my friends, and that was to the tune of two decants and one sample, which was quite embarrassing. As it turns out, the sample I ordered from Nocturne Alchemy, I already own. Good thing I like it. Um, but it's, that's kind of embarrassing because that's half the cost right there. It's something I already owned. Um, so I have plans to use that up before... Yeah, I'm going to use up that little sample before the full 2 mil sample comes, because, like, I mean, it's a little under 2 mils. So it's still a lot of um, product to get through. That's basically the full size for me these days. Um, and this is where the really... If I did my math right, let me go check this conversation I had with a friend to see if I actually... Oh, no, no. It's it's 148 USD I spent on B-Pals directly for full sizes. Now, I did recently join the B-Pal Madness um, Facebook group just so I can stop buying full sizes at their full price. Um, however, um, three... Uh, so there's this is five bottles worth. And that is a lot. Um, I don't think I've ever made a direct purchase from B-Pal um, for this many full-size bottles. At least three out of the five, I'm reasonably confident will become, like, all-time favorites. Um, so I'm not too annoyed about that. The other two, the plan is to either um, decant part of them away or de-stash them entirely if I don't like them. Um, still, nonetheless, that's a large, hefty number. Um, there's no real reason for this other than the timing, and there's someone willing to split the order with me, so at least we didn't have to pay for shipping which is um, a non-trivial amount of money. So this um, November already, um, that is 60, one, six, 
172 plus 60 is 232, I think, USD. That's already more than my last two months budget, you know, just, just for a point of reference. Um, now to add on to that, I also um, made a swap order that was 50 USD. Now, ad admittedly, like 20% of that cost is in shipping. Um, they are shipping direct to me. Let's see if I can actually find what was in the order. Uh, do, do, do. Yes. Um, yeah, so there were um, asteroids and Anava in there, um, plus some samples. Um, because in my foolish mind, I didn't want to pay extra shipping for a lower cost of return. Um, so both of these items are items I've wanted and have been curious about. Were they worth the money? I'm not entirely sure. Um, so there's the swaps. That's another 50. So that's 282 at this point. Now, to add insult to injury, I actually participated in one Black Friday sale. Um, and that is a local brand-ish to me, um, Lubunea, which I'm not entirely sure if I pronounced correctly, um, but they have a once in a year-ish 20% off sale, and I have been wanting to buy some raw materials for a while. I didn't super want to get them from Perfumer's Apprentice. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, it might have just been like a volume quantity kind of thing. Luvinia has this really aesthetic packaging for their products, so all of them would be consistent. Um, and so I purchased them directly from them. Um, after I converted the value into USD, I spent about 140 USD there. Now, the bulk of the cost is not in, in materials. I think the materials was on the lower end, um, but I ended up purchasing nine materials, uh, one lip balm, one watercolor product and one uh, solid perfume sample. So of that fraction, I think the solid perfume sample was 12, 12 CAD before discounts. Um, so let's, let's say it was about 10 USD. And everything else, these are um, other products that are still somewhat adjacent to the indie perfume hobby. The materials is less so. There are several materials in there that I would like to be able to mess around with to see if I really understand them, see if they will influence my future purchases. Um, for example, uh, some of the, the components I got were like cocoa, uh, cardamom, um, hinoki, uh, and oak moss. So these are all things I want to smell at dilute concentrations, independent of other products, independent of other scents, just to really see if I can characterize these components. Um, and it's quite possible I'll just resell these in the future. I might decant like one milliliter for myself and then sell the rest to someone who actually will use it to produce products, because I have no desire to actually produce my own products. I don't think I would be able to nail the right ratios that that make it really speak for me. Um, so there's my summary of this month's purchasing um, in the 16 days after November 10th, though I do think some of these happen earlier in November. Um, so what have I learned? Um, I um, am still not great about impulse purchasing. Um, I know a big part of these like lower than usual numbers for myself, four, three, four, four, two, one, and decants. That's actually because the cost of decants has gone up quite a lot. So I'm actually not saving any money here in comparison to previous years. It's really just the products cost so much more than they used to. And um, the good thing is, I guess I, I will have less product to consume, um, less product to ship. Uh, but in terms of finances, I'm not really reducing the load of indie perfume um, on my wallet. So that's a thing to think about. Um, I'm going to become far more judicious. Um, 
the funny part is, uh, because the cost of decants has gone up so much, it's influenced me to buy full sizes instead, because the price difference, um, when you, when you work it out is, is kind of ridiculous. Um, obviously you're paying for work, but, uh, nonetheless, as a consumer, it actually, if I'm confident I can resell product, it makes sense to go for the full size instead, because even at a loss of a full size bottle, um, you will still be paying less per mil for a decant. Now, that's not the best reasoning because there's no guarantee you can actually resell anything. Um, but that's part of why why this happened is in between myself and another person, we were able to hit free shipping. And it required us to make a purchase of nine bottles. Um, or we could have purchased other products, but currently I'm not actually short on hair gloss. And um, therefore that happened. Um, so that shakes out to be about $30 per bottle, which is, um, let's keep going. Um, there were, there were two items here that I really didn't need to buy. The Black Hearted Tart, because I still have seen no positive reviews. I presume they're still in the works, actually, to send them out. Um, cheap or not, it was a product and purchase that I actually forgot about until I was looking it up. Uh, the lucky number nine, I 100% know this was a guilt induced purchase. I am part of the JV Discord, and um, it, it does have some influence on your purchasing habits. Now, let's take a look at. Okay, no regrets for the full sizes. Minor regret for not checking my work and not actually cataloging my samples correctly, basically repurchasing a product I already have in what is functionally a full size for me. Um, that I don't think is actually full size worthy. Nonetheless, I will actually endeavor to use up that sample size or de-stash it now that I have a large size coming. Um, I have basically no regrets for this Livinea purchase. I'm actually very, very happy I've done this. Um, I've been meaning to buy a bunch of these materials for a very long time. And while the sizes are like much larger than I would actually need in reality, um, I think another number of them can actually go into either diffusers or into gift products for other people once they are diluted to save concentrations. Um, and if not, I am more than happy to sell them along. There's a couple people I know who may be interested and would be happy to purchase at, this, at a discount on top of the one I received. Um, the swap was a bit of an impromptu purchase. This is one I regret a little bit, but um, discounted shipping to Canada always gets me. And I did want those products. Um, one of those products, the Astrid, I had been eyeing the last time they made available and it sold out like immediately before I could even make a decision on whether or not I wanted to pay like twice the amount of shipping for it. So there you have it. Um, 292 USD spent on perfume related things and not including the Luvinea products um, in the span of a month. Uh, consequently, especially with a bunch of things coming my way, I am going on a no-buy for December and the rest of November after I pay to have my package shipped, um, which is, again, probably going to cost 20 30 USD, and that's all I want to spend on perfume, indie perfume specifically, during the remainder of the year. Um, I have more than enough products. I think a complete no-buy for a little bit will help out more with the reset, and then uh, I think for next year, I'm going to actually set um, a persistent, semi-persistent, semi-persistent low buy with like rolling carryovers um, for the next year. Because there were a couple brands that I really wanted to try this year and I didn't get around to. 